Hi, how are you? What's going on? I hope you're having a beautiful, fantastic, wonderful day. My name is Allie, and I am here to give you a little look-see-do around my island, the Oasis. So here, here's the map. Welcome. Welcome to my island. The name is the Oasis. I did not know when I started this island in 2020 that the name that you chose was the name you will choose forever and ever. Amen. Uh, that's okay, though. That's okay. We live with the Oasis. We laugh. We love with the Oasis. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's actually in reference to Ready Player One, uh, the Oasis. You know, I thought this was like my 2020 getaway, and it was, and it continues to be all the way in 2022. Uh, you can see the villager lineup here on the Oasis right now is Miss Marina. She has been captive for two years. I have held her here against her will. This girl has asked probably 20 different times to leave my island, and I've told her no just as many. Uh, we've got Miss Judy, right? Big booty Judy right here, living right next door to Marina. They're frenemies. They have a little bit of a competition going on, like who does what better. Um, it's fun. It's fun. We, we indulge them in that competition. Okay, this is my bestie, Freckles. As you can see, she lives right next door to me. Uh, she has to keep an eye on me at all times, and I appreciate it. She's out for me. She's not out for me. That sounds like she has it out for me. She does not have it out for me. She is there for me. Uh, we, we love Freckles. We are huge team Freckles here. Uh, Miss Pearl lives at the end of my farm, as you'll see. And Pearly is similar to my cat. I have a calico named Audrey. And so she hangs probably forevermore. Oh, it is. It must be four, as the bell tolls. Uh, Beardo, hey -oh. Beardo is the only, I guess, a male villager here on our island. Uh, Beardo was at one point my paramour, my love, my beau. But he's, as we've found out on this island, he is a player. He is, he is out for for everybody. He loves it. He loves everyone. We love that for him, but that's not necessarily like boyfriend material, if you know what I mean. Um, so he's he's just hanging. Um, it took me forever to find him, and I don't think he's ever, ever leaving. Um, we've also got Miss Ketchup, just precious, right? There's not much to say about her. I'm actually not sure why she's still with us, to be honest, except for the fact that she lives on a tomato farm, and I like the little build, so I don't want to change it. So that's why she's still with us. Uh, we've got Shino and Hazel, Miss Lovely Hazel. Hazel and Hazel, <laughs> Hazel and Yoni are they're BFFs. Maybe something more. Not quite sure. We're gonna keep an eye on that. And finally, our newest villager is Ellie, who I just find to be just literally the cutest. Like absolutely the most precious girl. I love her. Oh my God! It's pouring. When did that happen? We are having a thunderstorm. We are having a natural disaster during this little island tour. And that, you know, I'm actually kind of excited by that. I don't think this leaf actually helps very much, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for the leaf. Welcome. So this is the island. You uh, exit the airport and here we are. Oh my God, look at those girls. Are they not so cute? Um, so as I was maybe saying, or maybe not saying before, I want to make some changes to this island. I don't want to flatten it. I don't want to delete it, but I do want to give it a, a little revamp. And so I wanted to record a video to see like what it looks like now and then how we're going to change it. So here's, here's resident services. And I, I tried to keep the resident services area here, like pretty natural. I think what we'll do is like go counterclockwise. Um, and so it's just a little pathway to the beach. And once you get here, oh my God, what is wrong, Miss Tomato Thing? We're not, we're not indulging her. We're not doing it. Once you get to the beach, you know, we've just got like a little beach party over here. I like intended for it to be like a little midsummer celebration. I haven't seen the horror film, um, but we're just going to go with like actual like midsummer, not the movie vibes, right? Like we're just going to have a little party at the beach in the rain oh my god it's raining of course it's raining it's raining so hard okay um yeah so here's here's the the front beach here i don't know is that south right if we're gonna go do cardinal directions 
Don't ask me to do cardinal directions. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at that lightning. I don't know if I've ever been in a thunderstorm. This is, like, pretty cool, actually. Um, and then right over here, next door, we've got Nook's Cranny. And uh, it's kind of like a little, I guess, a second plaza. Like, the second cooler plaza. The plaza where we can actually put things plaza. Um, and yeah, next to Nooks, we've got Abel's just chilling. You know, I, I love having them next door to each other. So I don't think we're going to change that. I think we're going to leave them right next door. Like, I'm pretty pleased with the little shopping district. I think it's cute. I think it's really functional. That's the second thing. And that's actually the most important thing is this island must remain functional because I love to play the game. So I'm not looking to, I think I'm kind of at the limit. I'm trying to sit. God, Allie. And here I am saying that I want this to be functional and I can't sit because I dropped a flower on the bench. Typical. Typical. Um, yeah, the little sitting area, you know, take your take your soak up here whilst staring at the wheat. You know, that's that's what we do to relax on this island, I guess. Um, so crossing this bridge, we come to our first resident. Uh, I like using this beach as a residence area because I never know what to do with this beach. So I just like use it as a, uh, like an extension of the villager's home. This is where Ioni lives and it's her cosmic carnival is what I call it. It could probably use a little more cosmic and a little less carnival if I'm going to be completely honest. Oh, she's cooking for us in here. Um, I have redone the villager homes, but I, you know, frequently try to leave them as close as possible to what they already had and just like, you know, take it from like that Nintendo bland to something a little more palatable. Um, okay, what is she doing actually? Let's see what she's making real quick. I think I know this one already. Uh, Yoni girl. Yes, I already know it. Okay, anyways. So this is this is where Yoni lives. I don't think we won't go into everybody's house. Maybe we will. We'll see. Game time decision. Um, because we might change those two. Uh, but it it is it is what it is over here. I think it's like pretty cute. I give it like a five out of ten. Um, I think as long as she's here, it will remain a cosmic carnival. This peninsula has been so many things, and right now it is very simple. And I actually think I like it the way it is. Very simple. We don't need a lot going on there, right? Like, again, still functional. You can still come out here, eat your donuts. I say that as I can't get my chair. You can sit here, eat your donuts in a thunderstorm. I don't think the National Weather Service recommends that behavior, but you know what? It is what it is. Um, this beach over here is next to our farm, and this is where Pearl teaches yoga. She has her little, like, make makeshift yoga studio over here. And then, then we've got, like, the, you know, do not cross kind of rocky area of the beach. We'll see that later. Um, try to keep this beach simple, because I actually do want to be able to use at least one beach to do, like, a little ocean fishing. And so that, that keeps that free. Okay. We're coming to the first area I really want to change. So this farm has been the same since 2.0 has dropped. And I'm just not about, like, this really densely populated orchard. So we're going to change this, right? Like, it's it's here this way because I don't want to get rid of any of the fruit trees. But it's not, it's not cute. I don't know. It's not for me. we got to change that. Um... Kind of like walking through the farm. It's functional. I don't really do people. I need to like start selling my crops. I think I don't ever really do that. Um, but yeah, we've got you know t all of our crops leading up to Miss Pearl's house, and Pearl, Pearl is the farm keeper, which doesn't go with her personality at all. But you know, we just she's there. She's she's indulging us, right? Like she's she's helping. She's helping out. She does what she can. She pulls her weight here. Um, and then the end of the beach is kind of, I feel like it's just kind of typical. Like there's nothing super special happening over here. It's just kind of what you would expect. It's not ugly, but it's not fantastic. 
Okay, now coming up here, up this incline, is actually one of my favorite things. Like, I don't know. This is my super bloom. I used to live in the Bay Area in California, and my favorite thing were the, like, super blooms um, that you would experience, the wildflower, specifically California poppy super blooms. And these windflowers remind me of California poppies. And so I have to, right? Like, I, I had to have a super bloom. And then down there, we've got our little Lily of the Valley farm. I thought, I don't like them. I don't like the Lily of the Valley, but I couldn't stomach getting rid of them. So I just kind of put them there. Uh, so this build's really simple. Super simple, but I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to change it. I think, I think I really like it. Um, it's super meaningful to me. And it kind of just, you know, just kind of spreads out and over. I mean, you can kind of rest and relax over here. This might need a little bit of zhuzhing. I'm pretty happy with most of the terraforming. Too many weeds, too many weeds. Like, I love diagonal bridges. I love a lot of water. I think we'll leave that. Beardo lives here, right? This little front yard. And this part of the island's a little more wooded. <laughs> See, I, I had to have a little castle back there. Don't know why. Uh, Marina's house, right here. And this is an, another big area I will probably be changing. So she has a sunken waterfall right next door. And I'm thinking we change Marina's sunken waterfall into something else. What? I'm not sure. But see, the thing is, she has a sunken waterfall because she was competing with her, her frenemy, right? Judy, who I almost called her Julie. What the heck? Um, with Judy, uh, who also has this beautiful sunken waterfall and if I had to pick one to keep I think I would keep this one because it it helps with the topography of this island I like this little you know almost like bridge area here and I, I find that to be like a little more important to the structure of the island than I do marinas now if we go down here I moved my little lavender field and apiary down here because out of all of the Animal Crossing trends, those two were my favorite. And so I want to continue to have an apiary and my quote unquote lavender area. Um, but now it's just this little sunken space. And you know, it's kind of overflowed the, the situation. It's, it's everywhere. Ah, okay. This is, this is why you don't carry an umbrella. I just want to climb my vine, man. Dude. Like, hello. Like, what? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. All right, coming up here. This has also been an area of extreme stress and duress for me. I don't know what to do with it. Um, it's too small to do much of anything. So right now we've just got this little, like, campfire. And this is where Hazel, like, you know, does her laundry above her house. Like, I don't know what she's doing. She gets a ladder out every day to hang her laundry. Poor girl. Um... Who designed this island? I'm sorry, Hazel. Uh, yeah, so we've got like a little bonfire at the top of the island action going on. But I really, you know, out of all the areas in the island, I really hate this TBH because none of the villagers can access it. And it's no fun if the villagers don't go or play there. Like, same here. I don't get villagers ever coming down here. I think maybe once. Like, I think Sir Doby, like, came down one time, and then that was it. So we need to, like, kind of rethink rethink that area. Um, Hazel's house. I like Hazel's house. Like, who doesn't just like a wheat field? Like, come on. We love a wheat field. We are not tired of this yet. So I'm pretty sure that'll stay as is. This also, come on, love a double waterfall like situation here. This is, that's cute. That's cute. Um, this is probably the biggest pond on the island. I do like it. I've been toying with the idea of turning it into a soccer field, you know, like filling it. And, oh my God, that's like urban sprawl, right? I'm gonna be like, <laughs> watch out. I'm the big corporation ruining the natural splendor of this island. Um, I love this incline coming down here. I think this is great. Um, this is meant to be a little like nod to Yuru camp, a laid back camp. 
like the only anime I've ever watched really, but it's also my favorite. The only, the one, the only, my favorite. Um, anyways, if you know, you know, right? Because we've got our like curry noodles and we've got our little scooter and it, it all it goes it works okay just trust me if you haven't seen me just just trust me i'm i will never lead you astray just trust me uh here we are this beach confuses the crap out of me because first of all i don't think a cactus grows on the beach like i don't but like they need to be in the sands and like i want to use them I also really want to catch whatever that is, but we're, we're, we can't get distracted. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Right. Confused, baffled, just totally perplexed. I have no idea what is going on here or like why, why cactus? I, IDK fam. I don't know, but that's this. Oh my God. Are you kidding? Are we stuck? You are, you've got to be kidding me. This, I cannot, I have no patience. I'm going to carry his lifeless body and throw it in the fire. Okay, um, does anyone like him? Like, can we be real? Can we really just, you can tell me honestly, like does anyone like him in any of his forms? No, I think the answer is no. I'm going to move this Gullivar, so I can come across. Let me also don't look at my inventory. This is not a reflection of the kind of person I am. That is not a good first impression. Oh my god, this is my first YouTube video and you just saw my inventory like that. This is like if you went on a first date and you just looked in somebody's mess closet. I am so sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. Um, I want to make a, a beach volleyball court for the summer. And so I've just dumped all the items there, but I don't think that's done yet. Oh, oh, these girls are having a convo. These girls are having a convo. Um, what are they talking about? But we're just gonna let them talk. We're just gonna let them talk. Uh, this is Ellie's house over here. She's our newest resident and her squeakoid. Chill, chill, chill squeak. Um, I don't know. Her house is fine, but it used to be a like a little fisherman's home because this used to be where Dobie lived. And so I've been just trying to, uh, you know, rip out a couple things and make it more Ellie. Oh no, there's an extra flower growing there. God, Ellie, pull it together. Uh, this over here, this is like Shino's Forbidden Forest. I actually, I really do like this area. It's the only area on the island I use bamboo. And it's where Shino lives. I think it's pretty cute. It's like pretty elaborate for her. A little bit jungly. And I think it's it's fun. I don't think I'm gonna change that part. Um we have Captain Captain's right over here. It's where our dock is. We've got a little boat situation over here. I like this area. Like it's fine, right? It's there's like nothing but that's the thing. Like everything in the island is fine. It's not like it's not sparking joy it's just fine i don't want an island that's just fine oh my god they're so happy they must have had a good conversation great okay mm, what next so my house is that way we'll go there in a minute this way we have a campsite villager oh i totally forgot we're gonna have to go see who it is um, here's my campsite. It is like sunflower themed. I once a long time ago saw a Lex play video. I think it was a similar vibe. And so I, you know, I went with it. I said, that's cute. And so I did it. And let's see who's in here. Okay. Let's see who's in here. What's going on? What's going on? Who's here? Who's here? Who's here? Oh my God. Hey, <laughs> is his name Kurt? No, it's Groucho. Right. Grumble. Bye. Bye, dude. Sorry. I'm sorry. Not sorry. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Um. So the campsite. I see. I think you could hear it in my voice. I'm not. I think I'm. I'm not that excited about it anymore. It feels out of everything. This feels really cluttered. I have a really hard time navigating this because then you can't like really see to get over here, right? This is where ketchup lives. 
Like, I think obviously, <laughs> like obviously this is where Ketchup lives. She's just kind of nestled in here. I do like her little place. It's really cute. It's a diner on the inside. I think it's fresh. Um, and then here, you know, we've got our museum, which is just like totally basic. Like there's nothing wrong with basic. Like things are basic for a reason. It's because they work, right? But it could you like, I just, I, we need to make some changes. We can't just say everything's fine when we're trying to revamp the Oasis. Um, this is meant to be like a cute little look out area. Ooh, I love that lightning. That was so fun. I, I still like the vibes here. Like I do, I think the vibes are strong in this area, but it could use like a little bit of something, right? Like all the little islands with the mum cushions and the trees bounty lamps very cute but it's like so like like i said i was really proud of this island like a year ago because i felt like it really it was hitting all the right notes but now it's just a little bit it's a little stale it's a little stale we just need to zhuzh it up um this is the front yard of my house pretty much and it's just like a butterfly garden i love this bit i'm never gonna change this i don't think I might add more butterflies because how many butterfly models are too many? Answer, I'm waiting, right limit does not exist. Okay, thank you. If you ha if you answered with a number, goodbye. <laughs> we'll see you later. Uh, this front beach is just you know, kind of a chill. It, it used to be a little festival, like a little party area. Then it was like a Christmas scene and now it's just like a, a place to read and I guess like look at butts and I don't know, you know, it's, it's just a place to like be, right? A place to exist, to reflect on your actions, you know, that kind of place, uh, which takes us over, you know, I said this is my front yard because it is. I live right behind resident services because somebody has to keep Tom Nook in check and that somebody is me. And then my boss lives there, this freck, right? So here we are. Actually, let's say hi to her first, real quick. We're gonna say hi real quick. And then we'll zoom through my house because I think that's another place we could really, it could use some attention. It could use some love. Holy crap, what did I say about Beardo? What did I say? He comes to see everyone. He, he has a, he's a gentleman caller for everyone on this island, like everyone. Do not push my best friend, I'm sorry. Do not push her, get away. Freckles, what is going on? Yes, I. it is so cool. It's, yeah, to get get to know him better, hmm? Okay, cool, cool. All right, Beardo, what, what are your intentions with my friend? Yeah, you didn't know I was friends with Freckles, you liar make myself at home right uh, i'll be seeing you sir you do not tell me what to do at my best friend's house but yeah i did redo freck's house she is way i don't know i of course i love to go on the like wiki right and see what they like and their favorite songs and like what their aspirations are she loves fish and like in every iteration of animal crossing she's had a ton of fish in her house so I tried to like play with pink and fish, right? Like her house is pink with a dash of, of fish. <laughs> like she's got a little fishing outfit and her poles and her pet Napoleon fish. Um, okay, I like, I'm glad your fish helps you sleep. Okay, yeah, I'm worried about the size of the tank in relation to the size of the creature, but I'm not gonna confront her about that right now. Anyways. That's Bestie Freckles' house. And if you go down the stairs, then you're gonna make it to mine, uh, to my place, which honestly isn't in the best shape right now. I think it could use something, right? We, I'm not, I can't lie to you, friends. I'm not as proud of this as I am of other things on my island. But here's our, you know, our sitting room, right? We've got our iced coffee and cookies. We've got a lot of my favorite furniture items. I like, I do think this room, like I would chill in this room. Like if you go in, up to my family room, kind of has a similar vibe. Like the walls aren't crumbling. I don't, <laughs> I don't have crumbling walls, but like the vibe is there. It passes this particular vibe check. Um, 
that's that's our main room like it's it's functional we can sit there we can relax we can just have a good time my bedroom completely different vibe it's like we're in like a i don't know scandinavian like no I, I just i'm just laying down okay dude just laying down like maybe like a scandinavian cabin you know what i mean we're just like hanging out and got our little firefly just lighting the way i don't know i think this is like i also recently oh i think that's my crumploid i was like what is crunching it's not i swear it's not me oh my god yeah it's him there he is <laughs> You like can't even see him. You just only hear this crumbling, crunching sound. It's like kind of annoying, actually. <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye, bye. But yeah, I think that room is fine-ish. Uh, it used to be a winter Christmas uh, bedroom, and it was stunning. Like I'm not even gonna, I I'm gonna gas myself up. I can't help it. It was a stunning build. It was beautiful. I'm not trying to do that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, it was stunning, but now we're. It's not Christmas anymore, friends. Even though I wish it were, it's not Christmas. So that's what it is for now. Maybe we'll change it. Maybe we won't. Who knows? This is this room needs help. <laughs> this room needs help. I was just collecting gyroids in here when 2.0 hit, and then I was like, partition walls, yes please. Cacti, don't mind if I do. Um, so we've just got a bunch of gyroids. We've got our, this is where I do crafting. This is where I listen to KK cruising, I guess. I don't know. This room's a little bit sad. I think this one might be the first on the chopping block. Like, I do want a gyroid room, but this one is, it's not, it's not hitting the spot. You know what I mean? Like, we, we could do better. We can do better. When we know better, we do better. And so I think we can do better in that room. Similarly, this room... This room is a collector's room. It's just where I keep like every villager that's ever graced my island with their presence, minus one. There, I have one villager that's lived here whose photo I do not currently have gracing my walls. And um, that villager is Poppy the Squirrel because I, you know, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I did not get Poppy's photograph because I found her one night in Beardo's home and in a fit of rage, I, I made her leave immediately. We did not say goodbye. She did not pass go. She did not collect $200. It was over, my friends. And I do regret my actions. I was very hasty. It was very rash, but this room's weird, right? This is my, everybody's got like one room in their house, right? Where things, things get weird, right? This is just where things get a little weird. Uh, with that being said, I'm not changing it. <laughs> that room is going to stay weird. We got to have a room for our villager photos, fam. And that's going to be it, I think. Okay. I also don't say fam. Like, I don't even say it ironically. So I don't know why I said that. Please forgive me. I hope you'll give me a couple of uh, a couple of videos to decide whether or not I, I can do this. Right? You will. I know. I know you. I mean, I don't know you. But I know you. You're kind. You're a kind-hearted soul. You're going to give me time to adjust. This is uh, my kitchen. I like this room. I like this room a fair amount. We used to have the snowy ski wall there. Looked real good, right? It was more of a Christmassy room. We used to have a little Christmas tree over here. Some Christmas stockings, you know. But now it's just more of a rustic kitchen. It is an area where I can cook, which I appreciate. Um, I like this little place. You know, just imagine like calling people on my old timey telephone and listening to my radio. I, I like this vignette. I think this this room has a good thing going. I think. So I don't know if this room needs to to change in a huge way. So, okay, see here we go again though. Like if I don't change things, then what are we doing? Am I right? We're gonna change things. We really are. Okay, last room. I like this build. I like this build, friends. I'm gonna gas myself up on this one too. It's cool. This is my Indiana Jones room, okay? Like, come on, tell me this is not like an amazing basement, right? Like, you just think some like explorer of the world, like some very worldly anthropologist, apparently, you know, is 
pilfering goods from other countries. We don't want to do that, really. But in Animal Crossing, we'll just imagine that I'm not that. But, like, tell me that is not an amazing office. You can't, because it is. Right? This is where I write all my books. This is where I do all my research. I don't... I did this build, actually, like, right before 2.0. And I don't think I can change it. I'm too attached to it. Like, maybe we could add to it. But, like, come on. That's dope. That's dope. Okay. Okay, okay. So that's my house. That's my island. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, music. We were just, like, really getting it. Like, that's my house. That we were getting the crescendo. That was the crescendo of the tour. Right, so let's go back out to the thunderstorm and let's chat. So that, that is the island. That's what we're working with here. And I'm hoping that we can make some changes. We can do some new builds and we can just enhance the island's natural beauty. Because we are not, we are not going to rip this down. We are not going to. I will not. Will there be a second island? Do I already have a second switch that has an island just waiting to be be imagined and created and, you know, brought to life? Absolutely. This one, this one has too much nostalgia. There are too many feels in this island. I cannot. Oh my god, do you guys see that corner? <laughs> There's a corner piece to the edging I used to use on my second plaza. Yikes, big yikes. Let's hide that. Um, uh, yes. So, thank you. If you're still here, if you looked at this island and critiqued it with me, you are amazing. Thank you for being here. I think we're going to have a lot of fun. I love Animal Crossing. I love making things. I love talking. I especially love talking to myself. So, I think YouTube videos are probably a good place to do that, right? That's what we do here. We talk to ourselves. Um, yeah, so let me know what you think. Let me know what you would keep. Let me know what you would change. And, you know, next time, next time we meet, when I see you again, I think we will work on our first project. And I kind, of, I kind of have an idea. I have an inkling of what that project will be. Unless somebody gives me a better idea. So thank you so much for being here. I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, that you're taking time to have fun, to express yourself to your fullest potential, and really just live in joy, right? Find some way to enjoy yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, friends. <laughs> okay, try again. What you doing, girl? Oh, we can't even get ourselves up in this shot. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to be slick and have some kind of really fun, awesome open. We'll do that.